This piece contains adult language and violence, which may not be suitable for younger audience members. The Enigmatic Invasion, Part 3. Finale, written by Will Taylor. A dimly lit, steel enclosed space. A platform rises up out of the middle of the floor with a shiny, sharp knife lying on its surface. The final phase of the experiment is to determine which of you is the stronger and thus most adept for survival. In order to complete the study, you must compete in your species' self-devised ritual to determine which of you is the stronger and thus most adept to survive. Mitch and Erin look at each other, then at the knife in the middle of the room. Mitch takes off, darting after the platform. Erin takes off after him and tackles him to the ground. Come on, Mitch, we can work together here. What if we don't have to kill each other to make it out of this? Are you deaf? He breaks free and punches her down. That's exactly what we have to do. Again, he rushes for the platform. Erin recovers quickly and grabs him from behind. They struggle across the room until she forces him up against the wall. Let's think about it first. Use our brains instead of our weapons for once. You've got to be tired of blood. <laughs> Mitch escapes her grip. Again, he beats her down and rushes for the platform. This time, he makes it. He picks up the knife. Erin climbs to her feet. They face each other. Look around you. No doors, no windows, just walls, walls and some voice, though God knows from who, and saying that either one of us is going to have to kill each other or neither of us is getting out of here alive. What choice do I have? That's what we have to figure out. And if we don't put down the weapons long enough to think, then we don't have a chance. Looks like I have a chance. We haven't talked. We haven't looked around. We haven't tried. We just went for the weapon as soon as we saw there was one. Makes sense to me. I am not your enemy. I never have been. I've been right by you all the time. Are you prepared to kill me because someone you kidnapped us says it's the only way? <laughs> Mitch swings the knife at Erin. She dodges the swing. You have a choice here. Damn right I do. I'm not as stupid as you think. You're trying to get inside my head. What? <laughs> Soften me up with bullshit. As soon as I let my guard down, the knife will be in your hands. What reason have I given you not to trust me? There doesn't have to be a reason. We're people. It's the way we are. It's how the world works. This is what happens when you can't accept that. Mitch rushes Aaron. He throws several swings and thrusts with the knife, all of which Aaron dodges and deflects. He backs her up to the wall and throws a stab at her throat. She catches the blow and holds back his arm with all of her might, keeping the blade only centimeters from her neck. Give us a chance here, Mitch. Give yourself a chance. I'm taking the only chance I get. In a single stroke, Mitch pulls away yeah. from Aaron, winds up, and delivers a powerful thrust with the knife. Also within a single stroke, Aaron stops the blow and disarms Mitch with ease and swiftness, as if she could have all along. And for a tense moment, she holds the blade to his throat. She throws the knife down at Mitch's feet. Do it. What? It's all yours. Go for it. She backs farther away from the knife until Mitch has an insurmountable advantage. I mean it. Mitch grabs the knife. What are you trying to pull? You heard her. We're the last ones left. Yeah, we made it. So. Yeah, we did. And what does it matter now? I, you're crazy. Tell me a joke. What? I'd like to hear a good joke right now. You know any? No. You've never told a joke before? I, I can't think of any. That's what I was afraid of. No more jokes. No more laughing. No more family, people. Sunsets, oceans, good sushi, just me. That's the difference between you and me, Mitch. I'm not gonna kill anyone for that. Not even you. It's not worth it. You're insane. Maybe, whatever. If there's nothing to go back to, I don't care to go back. I mean, she could be lying. You wanna survive or not? You know I do. Well, here's your chance. Take mine. It means a lot more to you than it does to me. 
you're for real right now, aren't you? Yeah, I am. But what if it is worth, worth something? I hope you find what you're looking for. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. Yeah, neither was I until the day it was gone. Funny how that happens. I know. I didn't want it to end like this. I know. And I am really sorry. What's my choice? Hey, Aaron. Yeah? What's the difference between 365 used condoms and a tire? What? One's a good year, the other's a great year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a good one. Yeah, it used to be my favorite. Thanks for that. See you on the other side? That'll be awkward. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> it's been real, Mitch. Yeah. You happy now, Kit? I'm not. Experiment Earth has failed. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> what are you talking about now? Can I at least get some goddamn answers finally? Very well. Who are you? In your language, we are called the Elmist the oldest, most intelligent, and most advanced species in the known universe. Well, I haven't heard of you. That's because you are none of those. Now you're starting to make sense. For centuries, our kind has been charting the known universe and studying its inhabitants. As the universe expands, we aim to expand with it. You mean destroy it? No, to master it. Well, you sure did a number on my planet. Again, no. You did. Are you shitting me? After incinerating everything, piece by piece? Our biomechanically engineered war drones were designed to overpower humans only physically. Their numbers were few, minuscule compared to the human population. But also, their intelligence is purposefully limited by their programming. Human intelligence, on the other hand, our research indicates there's no ceiling on but your survival instincts seem to trigger an adversarial response towards each other. I don't understand. This is a serious evolutionary dysfunction. Humans display a fixation on the preservation, even prosperity, of the individual, making a select few of your kind very strong, but the survival of your species as a whole, unlikely. <coughs> Fine. Whatever. Humans suck. This isn't news! You come all this way to figure that out? What's it to you? We've discovered a brand new galaxy. One that has yet to be populated. It is our mission to expand our rule into this new frontier. We are seeking the universe's strongest species to send into the new galaxy and adapt and colonize its planets on our behalf. Why can't you do it your damn selves? Conditions in previously uninhabited environments are harsh. It takes time and trial for a species to adapt and ultimately survive in the long term. These experiments, our search for an invasive species, is the solution to the expansion of our kind without sacrificing any other. <laughs> so that's it? That's what this was all about? You were testing us? Experimenting. I ran from one wasteland to another, looting getting shot at. I fucking killed people. So I could be some kind of guinea pig for a bunch of aliens trying to expand their territory. Don't fret, Mitch. You will no longer be a part of the experiment. I'm declaring humans as unfit for expansion. Why? I played your damn game. I fucking killed my... You mean to tell me after all this that I'm unfit for your science project? We need species who will adapt, colonize, and survive in the long term as a group. The last surviving one, or even the few, have no chance and is therefore useless to us. What, what, what the fuck? If you knew that, why did you make me kill Aaron? To ensure that our data was conclusive. 
What happens now? The platform, which once displayed the knife, sinks back into the center of the floor. A much wider trapdoor opens. One of the humanoid bots rises up into the room on another elevated platform. Mitch retreats to the back of the room, brandishing the bloody knife. All unfit specimen remaining at the end of an experiment are to be euthanized. Wait, I just, you- The bot fires a laser beam. Mitch is incinerated. Ah! The end.